Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I'm so happy you're here with me. My name is Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I am making some pine bergamot soap. Sparkling pine bergamot, actually. I love, love, love this scent. I, three years ago, never ever would have gravitated toward a piney type of scent. I didn't like them. I don't know why, I never just, they never appealed. I never even gave them a chance. Wax melts, one of my favorite fall scents is this pine bergamot. Uh, it's even working in my candles, guys. So I have a candle coming with this and now a soap. This is the third year I've made this as a soap and it sells really, really well. Everybody loves this scent. Um, I should say everybody, like if you're one that really hates any sort of woodsy pine scent, you're not gonna like it. Give it a try. <laughs> I mean, this is so good. <laughs> Design plan is a hodgepodge of colorants. I have 10, 11 colors on my counter. I'm gonna pull the camera down and let you see what I have going on here. Greens and oranges, pretty much is what I'm gonna do. And I've got my colors that I'm trying to move off my space and just use up what I have. And so I have a couple oranges that I thought I could do something with. These four, not four different oranges, but some combination of these is gonna be used. I have a couple greens. I have this honey beige mica. Let's get rid of that, okay? And then I have some blues and yellow to try to make a different kind of green. And if I have to, I'll get some black involved to deepen any of these. So this is where I'm, ah, guys, I stopped talking with my hands. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna be working with to make pine bergamot soap. Goat milk going in before I forget it. And in here, I actually love that green and that is lemon chiffon and magic blue. And I have a little bit more of the yellow than the blue. So that, that became my green. This is that honeyed beige from Brambleberry. I looked on their website to even see if it was cold process, you know, uh, stable. It's not even on their website anymore. So who knows how long I've had this. So it, it may disappear completely. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go. And then in here, I just have some orange, orange vibrance and nothing else for now. So I'm just gonna start with that. I'm gonna make my main color green. But I am gonna go ahead and get my kale and clay in here, mixed in well, my goat milk mixed in well. And I may go ahead and add my fragrance oil to that. All right, my lye water. I am going to uh, strain it this time. I don't normally feel the need to strain it, but I wanna make sure all of my crystals, or my sugar and my uh, uh, citric acid, I don't want any clumps. And I can tell I have some clumps. Whoa. Fragrance oil. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm so glad this is working in my candles. I'm gonna be making that later today. Not a crazy amount of blending just yet. So after adding my soap to this, it's turning a bit muddied and gross and brown. And I know that could be that yellow wanting to go orange. So I'm gonna try not to freak out over that. I'm freaking out just a little bit, but I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> that is ugly. When you're going for green, that's ugly. Well, this is prettier than I thought it would be. Look at that. That's not too bad. I like that. 
I'm going to add a little more soap to that because that's prettier than I thought it was. Oh my goodness, look how ugly that is. <laughs> All right, so for the main green, I'm going to play it safe <laughs> and uh, just do some real green. So I'm going to use the last of this mica here, and this is a sample from Micas and More called Blue Green, and I'm going to add the last little bit of that peak green in there as well. So one more sample bag and one more jar. Done. That's always fun. It's starting to become nice and traced. I'm just going to use my oil pitcher here. And Let's see what that gets me there. And I'm going to blend this part a little bit more to help it thicken up just a little bit quicker. All right. Ugh. Gotta clean up. Mid soap cleanup. <laughs> Every time. We had leftover uh, spoons after eating out one time, so I brought them down here to do some of this stuff. This isn't quite ready. These are, well, this can wait. Yeah. I'm going to keep that lid on, put a little heat to it so that, that heat can get it activating a little bit quicker. That's my story. I'm going to clean up a little bit, keep stirring these so they stay somewhat loose, and then we'll be back to finish. Okay, that didn't take very long, so I'm just going to do my little texture thing I like to do sometimes. If I'm ever doing a layered soap, this is really the way I like to do it. I made it pretty and interesting. And I'm gonna take one of my golds I'm gonna do uh, gold sparkle. Almost out of this, and I'm going to do a gold mica line. Not quite done with that gold yet. I'm going to move this out of the way. This did get a little bit thick. And it may be too thick for the in the pot swirl that I was looking for. Oh, look at that wannabe green. Oh, oh my guys. All right. Oops. Look at me. I'm going to attempt an in the pot swirl. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We're going to just go with it. Okay, so changing my mind, I'm going to do an in the pot swirl with those two colors. This is just pretty thick. And just do a drop swirl with these.
Do I think this is going to be the prettiest soap in the world? No, guys. <laughs> I'm nervous about it just being plain ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of dishes for an ugly soap. <laughs> it's worth it if it's pretty. If this turns ugly, these dishes are not worth it. <laughs> ah, you know, I was going to do a gold mica line, but it almost doesn't seem like it's worthy. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a gold mica line or drizzle. Actually, I think I'm a I'm going to use uh, King's Gold for that one because I just need it to be a little more vibrant than that other one. No rhyme or reason there, guys. No rhyme or reason to this either. Shoot. Well, that actually made it kind of pretty on top. Let's pull you in. All right, so the unworthy soap turned pretty with a little bit of a gold drizzle. <laughs> Let's see what a night in the oven does for it. One of my all time favorite fall scents. The smell is where it's at in the soap. That's not bad. That's kind of neat looking. I, I like that one. Once again, I didn't take pictures of it in the mold, in the log. I didn't do any of that stuff. You know, it's growing on me. It's kind of growing on me guys. So it's been a few days since I made the pine bergamot and I really think that that one of this honeyed beige mica is probably not a uh, staple in cold process because there's really not much color to it or if it is it's ugly. <laughs> it's kind of like that peach crayon. Remember, remember back in the day? Those peach crayons, crayon, <laughs> I'm trying to say crayon. <laughs> I've always called it crown all my life. <laughs> I've always been made fun of for all my life, you know, 50 plus years old. <laughs> Let's learn how to say crayon. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like, that peach. Never the last one in the box because it was always so ugly. <laughs> all in all, it's not bad. You know, the smell, oh, guys, I love this scent so much love this scent. I think I would like it better if this was a bit darker. I think the top is pretty. I, I love it. So this is going to be in my candle line too. Finally, finally have a candle. And it's one of my favorite scents. So that makes me happy. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of your time with me today. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.